Welcome in everybody to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. I'm Glenn Martin here with my co-host James Haskell. In this episode, we're going to discuss a familiar face returning back, obviously, as the banner says ahead of you. But before we get into that, give us a second, give us a subscribe, get a like, and um, we'll keep you up to date on all your Ravens news. But Jimmy, break the news for the fans. That's right. Just like the banner says, the Ravens have re-signed inside linebacker LJ Fort uh, to a one one uh, a one year deal for one point one million. He's a cap hit of nine hundred and eighty five thousand uh, dollars. Excited about this because. This, if I'm not mistaken, his deal was for 2.2 or even I think maybe 2.3 was the total value. But now, um, you know, we get him in at a at a at a, at a more team friendly deal. Obviously, I'm not rooting for him to make less money, but he felt compelled to come back to the Ravens based on the fact that I'm sure he tested the open market and it, it matched what he could have gotten out there. And uh, the Ravens were like, look, we we know who you are. You know, we know your value. You know the value that you bring. If you want to stay here, stay. You know, stay what with what you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. And come on back, we'll pay you the same amount of money. So I think it's a win-win uh, for him and for the Ravens. And I, I couldn't be more excited about it. Before we get into a little more, though, also shout out to our newest Patreon, as you'll see below, Q Hut. Uh, yeah, appreciate the support. Appreciate a absolutely. And uh, as we keep uh, building our building our 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 base on 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 Patreon, feel free to check it out. Links below uh, in the description. But Glenn, what what's your take on on LJ Four? Is he not our best open field tackler? He certainly looks like, and he looked like it in that Titans game when he was just swallowing up Derrick Henry and, and mm -hmm. erasing him in the flat. Uh, I, I think it's an awesome move. I think we were all kind of taken aback and a little surprised when the when the Ravens announced they were going to release him. Now, we, we understood that it was only about the cap and not really a reflection of his performance because for the role he played, I don't think we could have asked more uh, from LJ Ford. So very happy to see that not only is he back, but like you mentioned, he went from a $2.25 million cap hit down to under a million at just 987, uh, 987,000. So oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah. 987. Yeah. So a, a big, big, I mean, pretty less than half of what he was originally going to account for is, is how they brought him back. So, um, real happy about that because, you know, there's still some more work that needs to be done, still some holes that need to be filled here in Baltimore. So, uh, the fact that they were able to get their guy that they obviously wanted and get him at less than half of the the cap hit, I think is a, is an awesome victory for the Ravens front office. And I'm sure that uh, old Rob Ryan is happy to see a vet in that room because he was about to be straddled with a bunch of young guys. And now to have a 31 year old linebacker who's done it uh, and 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 does it in multiple roles is such a versatile player. I'm sure Rob Ryan was excited to see him coming back to Baltimore, was he not? Yeah, yeah, I got to agree with that 100%. Um, and I think he really shores up that group because Malik Harrison, we're expecting him to come on. Obviously, we're expecting Patrick to make uh, big jumps. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, not that they didn't have uh, noteworthy seasons last year, but they've got to do it, right? They've got to make those jumps. And I think that LJ kind of calms the waters uh, of the coaching staff and then also the team. Um, he can also teach Patrick a thing or two about wrapping up, yeah. uh, and you know, that, that, that might help as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't. And then, then of course he's a special, he's a great special teams contributor. Yep. Um, so interesting though, that if I'm not mistaken, I think that essentially him and Chris board switched salaries from last year or something, you know, it was very similar to that. Right. Uh, was so Chris Board making that much last year? I, I think he was close to that. If not. I mean, he's a young be. guy, so that's true. But you know, I mean, the, they, the they, be different. they've taken that money, right? And just said, well, Chris Board's a little younger. Yeah. Uh, so, yep. so we're going to put our money there. But I think a lot of Chris Board's development has to be credited to watching a guy like LJ Ford as well. So I think he no really doubt. anchors that, that, uh, that inside linebacker position. I tell you what, it is incredibly athletic if you look at that group. Malik oh, Harrison yeah. is a, a, a freak athlete for how big he is. Um, same thing with Patrick Queen. He's a, he's, he's a dart. And then, and then Chris Board is is an absolute athlete, and then LJ Fort doesn't slow underrated. down at all. I mean, yeah, absolutely. underrated. And now, and you look, he started eight of the fourteen games he played in last year, and he finished with fifty three tackles, two pass breakups, two fumble recoveries, one of which he took back to the house, and he did that in, in playing less than half of the defensive snaps. So he he did he excelled in a role. I mean, just imagine if he did get more snaps, which. Which the fact that now that they have depth at that position, so let's say if Patrick Queen were to go down in week two, which of course we hope he doesn't, now it's not like oh my goodness, what are we going to do there? Well, we got LJ, who who we know can go right in and and not miss a beat. So 
Uh, I think, um, yeah, I think this was it, it's not necessarily surprising, but I think there were some fans that were worried when he was released that maybe some other team might throw a couple more dollars at him because of how well he played. Um, so I'm a little surprised that they were able to get him back for, for yeah. such a reasonable deal. Um, but I mean, it, it could mean that that he made that decision. What's best for you know his career is to is to come back to Baltimore, a system he knows, you know, appears to like playing for, uh, and then a wink, you know, Wink Martindale as his as his DC, obviously. Uh, put him in a lot of good positions to succeed. So, yeah, happy that he's back. Happy that we have depth now at that position, uh, at depth at at, at uh, special teamers because you know Chris Board is also another heck of a special team player, and they like filling them them roles with linebackers because they're usually sure tacklers. So, these guys, uh, it, it's good to know that there's a lot of a, a lot of um, positional depth at the inside linebacker position and some versatility for old Rob Ryan. Absolutely. And the other thing I'll mention about LJ Fort that's really important. We all know that it was highly publicized that that Patrick Queen got roasted a couple times last year in coverage mm-hmm. uh, and really needs to improve there. And LJ Fort, you know, that's one of that's one of the areas where I would consider it to be a strength of his, um, you know, working in coverage. If, if you if you look at some of his ratings. And so I think that just like you're saying, it bounces out the room, brings vet leadership, but also just true production on the field in an area where, look, we don't, I don't think it's ideal that we want Malik Harrison in coverage a ton. Now, Malik will tell you that he can do it and he feels confident in it. Mm-hmm. And I think that he will also tell you that people underrate his speed and ability to go sideline to sideline. But uh, to have LJ who's done it and done it at a high level in the pros is, is an absolute, uh, is an absolute uh, slam dunk for the Ravens and a way to, kind of calm the waters i'm excited about it. i mean it's absolutely a so at this point we still have what like a little like 16 and change left yeah, in, in almost 17 space. yep mm-hmm. right so there's two things pending of course that would be earl thomas the litigation involving earl thomas and and that's a max a 10 million dollar hit yeah um I, i'm guessing it's probably somewhere between five to seven uh that yeah, what, settles what they do at. settle at yeah yeah and then I, uh, the, the other one, of course, being, you know, it's April 1st and this is not a fool's day joke at all, but, uh, you know, we got the draft coming up. So that's another anywhere from four to 6 million, right. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. depending on how many picks we have and where we pick and things like that. So we still got some money, still got some moves to be made, but, uh, mm-hmm. certainly glad about this one. Can't do anything, but give it an A. Yeah. I, it's an A for me as well. I think this was a, uh, yeah, this was a real, it was a little bit of a gamble by the front office and a gamble that really s- certainly paid off by, by getting the same player for less than half the cap hit. So let us know what you guys think. Are you excited? Does this not move the needle? Uh, were, were you happy to see him uh, return or were you were you kind of hoping that they moved on? I, I'm not sure why you would do that, but we're certainly welcome to your opinions and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.